Hello, I'm Sergeant Mercedes Fortune with the Phoenix Police Department Public Affairs Bureau. The information, audio, video, and pictures you're about to see are intended to provide details as we currently understand them of an officer-involved shooting that occurred on June 29, 2021 at about 10.15 p.m. This video may contain strong language as well as graphic images, which could be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. Officers from the Mountain View Precinct were dispatched to an activation of a burglar alarm call at a residence near 9th Avenue and Turney Avenue. The first two officers arrived and walked up to the residence at about 10.15. Both officers could hear the burglar alarm as they approached the front door. One officer walked to the east side of the house and looked for anything suspicious, which could indicate that someone had broken in. The second officer could see through the security door that the front door was open. He then checked the knob of the security door and found it to be unlocked. Come over here really quick. Front door is cracked. The officer then opened both doors and announced his presence. Phoenix Police! Once the doors were open, both officers continued to use their flashlights and knock and announce their presence. Phoenix Police! Uh -huh. Almost eight minutes after they arrived, the officer asked dispatch to find a number and attempt to reach the homeowner. Hey, Kathy, we got an open front door. It's cracked, no fourth century. Not getting any response from inside. I'm gonna check water bill and see if we have a 21 number for resident. The dispatcher was unsuccessful in contacting the homeowner. The officer then told his partner that he was going to try to contact a neighbor to gather any other information about the residents. I'm gonna go to the neighbors and see if they have any idea who lives here? The neighbors did not answer the door. Twelve minutes into the call, two officers requested an additional officer as they await their decision to enter the residence. The third officer arrived about four minutes later. The third officer is briefed on what was known at the time. He then knocks and announces loudly. My worry is an elderly couple. Right, just can't hear anything that's going on. Us. How loud were we? <laughs> like, and we banged on the windows, so. Alright. Yeah, that's another thing that doesn't that doesn't feel great. Phoenix place! Almost 20 minutes into the call, officers voiced concerns about entering the residence and talked through their options. Uh, hallway of some sort. Obviously, just kind of a peek for this. No one's on the couch. So, maybe we can go in or we can secure it. Because that goes secure. Phoenix, please! That's when they saw a man walk into the front room from a back hallway. Go! Phoenix, please drop the gun! The man was armed with a gun and pointed the gun at officers as he walked toward the front door. Officers yelled out to each other about the gun and all three officers attempted to find cover. The man walked to the front door and shot at the officers. No. John, we're 998 right now. Homeowner came out with a gun. Two of the three officers shot back at the man striking him. The man walked back into his residence, and officers told him to come out unarmed. Here are the body worn camera videos from the two officers who shot at the man. Both videos will begin at the 17 minute mark in an effort to save time. Phoenix, please! Over there. 
Both gates have a power uh -huh. to get in the back. So, that's a no, nothing. So it's either they left when they were going to close the door or they got their car or something. It's a hallway of some sort. Uh, at least just kind of a peak for this. No one's on the couch. So, we can go in or we can secure it because that door secures. I don't know how much I want to push it. There's no signs of force entry. Right. I'm just worried about going in there and Getting giving us. Nina a heart attack or some more of that with a gun. Right, Nina. just some homeowner yeah. that's hearing impaired. Mm -hmm. Where it says do not disturb. What is this? Is this for the alarm? I have no idea what that is. That's old. Hello. Phoenix, please! shooting, officers walked up to the man and provided first aid. Okay, stand by your mask. Why? Wait, why? Relax, 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 relax. Relax. Hey. We gotta get you help, okay? Are you Where good? are you hit? I can't you hear that well. I have a hearing problem. Why'd you right. break into my this house? This is gonna hurt like hell, sir. I'm yeah. gonna let you know right now. A tourniquet was placed on the man's leg, and an officer drove him to Phoenix Fire Personnel in a police Tahoe. Yeah, we're putting him in your car. We're going to fire. We're, we're not going in my car. No, nope, we're going we're in the right fire department. Oh. Get in there and take a seat. We're going to get you to the fire department, okay? He was transported to the hospital where he was treated over a number of days for non life threatening injuries. He has since been released and could face aggravated assault charges of a police officer pending review by the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. The officers involved in the shooting are assigned to the Mountain View Precinct Patrol Division, and they both have more than two years of service. There were no injuries to officers or any other community members. This incident is subject of both an internal and a criminal investigation, which will be reviewed by the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Conclusions about whether the actions of the officers are consistent with department policy and the law will not be made until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. This video was intended to inform and educate the public about a critical incident in our community. You can learn about the Phoenix Police Department's transparency policy on our website.